in Washington, D.C. traffic. If you've ever been in Washington, D.C. traffic, you know it mm, sucks. And it sucks enough to make me want to go local. Why am I going local today? Because we have another beer from Three Stars Brewing Company out of Washington, D.C., U.S. of A. Yay, yay. And what beer do we have from them? We have a brand new beer from them. That's right. We have their Pounding Trees D.I.P.A. As the name suggests, it's a D.I.P.A. It's a rotating serving. Content at 8% ABV and between 50 and 100 plus IBUs. Like I said, this is new for 2016, and this is a brand new beer that I got at the brewery. It's been in the can for a big eight days. That's right, one day over a week. That sounds awesome. What also sounds awesome, besides the fact that it's super fresh, is that it has a plethora of delicious hops in it. They tell you what some of them are. They tell you it's Maltueca, Mandarina, Calypso, and Vic Secret, then they say, and more. So, you know what, and more sounds good to me. That also means, you know what, what's good to me is cracking this can open, getting in the glass, and telling you what's up with Three Stars Brewing Company's Pounding Trees, D-I-P-A. Let's go. Ah, yeah. That's making all the bad traffic go bye-bye already. Let's get it in the teku and see what is up with this lovely brew. We're gonna pour it gingerly so we don't get too much of a gigantor head. While I was picking up this four pack of brews that I got, I saw people getting poured to this with some pretty big heads on it. So I'm gonna go a little light. Anywho, let's see what's up with the appearance. Yes, it's a lovely, hazy, not like New England, you know, milky, chunky, hazy, but it's a hazy sort of golden amber color. We have a solid two finger head of super tightly packed bubbles. When I swirl it, those eggshell bubbles are going to leave some really nice glass slicing, and we got tons of alcohol legs. Look at that, guys. That is a beautiful beer in the glass. It looks so pretty. I want to smell it and see if all those hop aromas come up. So let's dive in for what? Oh, that's right, for the aroma. Woo, hop bomb, baby. Mm, big peach, mango, tons of tropical fruit. Mm, pineapple. Good bit of dankness in the aroma. Tons and tons of citrus front to back. An herbaceous, like sort of weedy, dank tone, a little bit of pine. Mm, not a hint, not a hint of alcohol. It smells sweet and juicy, not like big malty, like sugary sweet, but a nice sweet sort of floral citrus note. In with that dankness and pine and tropical fruit. Mm, a lot of nice layers of aroma in this exceedingly fresh beer. Take another look, guys. It's time to pour it down to my neck and go loco like I love to do, especially after eating that fucking traffic all day. Diving in. Cheers. Mmm. Wow. Yum. Mmm. That is freaking crushable. Awesome glass lacing. Mmm. Right up front. Some really nice tropical fruits. I'm getting peach, mango, almost like a little bit of like a vanilla taste. I don't know why. Maybe it's the melding of the hops. There's a nice bit of dankness. It's not big. It's not overrunning. It's juicy. It's not New England sort of IPA style juice balmy like that. But it's a balance between pretty big juiciness and then a ton of herbaceous sort of grassy in some ways herbal basil noty kind of hops in there with a ton of tropical fruit in the background maybe like a bit of like pineapple in the aftertaste the alcohol is totally hidden i get a little tiny bit of warming in the chest but that's it mm. for an eight percenter mm, it's really crushable it's got a dry clean finish this is the best dipa that i've had from three stars so far i've drank a lot of their beers i haven't reviewed a crap ton of them but I have drank a bunch of them at the brewery. Some days when you're in D.C. and you've had your ass beat all day long by your like really shitty traffic like today, you just go to the brewery. You kick it. You stay there. You know you're going to stay there for a couple hours. Wait the traffic out. Have something to eat from the food truck and maybe a couple tasters because 
We can't drink and drive now, can we? No. So let me take another taste of this, and we'll pass judgment on this, what I'm thinking is also already a lovely beer. Mmm. Man, really nice showcase of hops. If you're looking for big New England juice bomb, that's not this. But if you're something that you wanting something that has, it's almost sort of like a, a cross between that juicy New England beer with some more aggressive, resinous, West Coast style IPA hops, that's what this is. Maybe this is a DC IPA now. Maybe that's what they're going to be brewing now. DC IPAs, that'll be all the rage. People will be, you know, bumping up in line, selling their, their uh, firstborn off for some brews. Anywho, so we got to grade this beer. Great beer at time of recording for this brand new beer has no grade. Beer Advocate for t at time of recording has no grade. Untapped because they always pour, pull the trigger first these days and maybe pour the beer too, who knows, is giving this 3.88 caps. So, you know, that's probably into the A level. I'm digging this beer. I'm going 95. It's a definite A. I would drink it again. I would buy it again. And I would send this out on a trade. That's what I think of this. It is a tasty beer. And if I think that it's good enough that I would send it out on a beer trade, it's got to be tasty because I don't like to send shit beer out to anybody ever. So, have you had Three Stars Brewing Company's Pounding Trees DIPA? If you have, ah, let me know what you know because I like to quit pro quo and the back and forth. I also like it when you think globally. Drink locally. I'm getting it done today. Are you doing your part supporting the craft beer movement? Hell, I hope so. I even got the fucking hat on today. I'm going crazy. Ah, well... Sorry, I always go crazy. Anyways, mm. oh, what's also really cool is when you rate, comment, subscribe, especially if it's your first time with us, and smash that like button because that, along with, psh, I only need one can of Three Stars Brewing Company, though I'd probably drink two, Pounding Trees DIPA to put my big ass happy face on. So to the next DJ's Fruit Tube, I got nothing but a bunch of loco drinking love for you. And you know what's coming, that's right. I know you're ready for it now. Hell yes, a big pizza.